Welcome back to Just Scribble for yet another unboxing. I have a lot of unboxings this week. I kid you not, almost all of the orders I've placed in the last month or so are all arriving in one week. And so I am mass filming unboxings, but I promise I am filming other videos that are not unboxings this week as well. But this unboxing is from Filofax. Don't freak out, I'm not switching to rings. This is actually a Filofax folio. So before I open it, I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of the backstory as to why I ordered this. So every time I see someone share their floral pink original Filofax, I am in love. I'm not a super girly pink person, but I do love hot pink and I do love bright colors. And for some reason, that cover gets me every single time. And about three weeks ago, Princess Honey here on YouTube shared a de-ringing of a Filofax original. It was in a pale pink. I don't know the name of all the colors, but it was in a pale pink. And she de-ringed it to put her Hobonichi Avec in it. And I thought, oh, that's brilliant. I could get a floral original and I could de-ring it, and either I could buy the personal size and de-ring it for my Stelogy, or I could buy the A5 size and de-ring it and use it for my work planner. And so I looked around to see if I could find one inexpensively since I was going to be taking the rings out of it, and couldn't find one that was in the price range that I really wanted to spend for something that I was going to take the mechanisms out of and make not functional in its purpose and may not actually work for what I wanted it to work for because I haven't actually tried an original in with Astology or a Hobonichi in it and I have not actually had an original in my hands and touched one in person. And so I decided I would just wait and see if one popped up on Amazon or Facebook or something like that. But then Sam Kelly here on YouTube shared two new Filofax items that she got. I think she's an ambassador, something like basically a PR person for Filofax now. And she got one of their clip books to try out and she also got their new original folio. And so they made a folio out of the original style and original leather so it already has no rings in it. I was very excited to see it. She seemed to really love it and then she mentioned in her video that she had debated on which color to get and she wasn't sure if she had wanted to get the black one which is what she ended up getting or the floral pink and I was ecstatic because that meant they were actually making the folio in the floral pink which is the only color that I'm actually drawn to in the original and so long story short I ordered a Filofax original folio their new folio design in the A5 size in floral pink and it has arrived and so it is here and I'm going to unbox it with you guys share it with you and I'm super excited look at this pink I mean it's like neon pink it's so awesome I'm so excited there is something about this neon fluorescent pink that just really gets me so this is their new folio design. That is the back and that is the front and it has a snap closure. This is not patent, so it's not gonna get fingerprints on it, which I appreciate. Move the silica gel pack out of the way. And then it comes with this notebook, which I'm gonna pull out so I can show it to you in a second. And the notebook slips between behind this leather belly band and then tucks into this piece of leather on the other side. And then on the left hand side, you have a slip pocket with two card pockets and two pen loops. And then also a loop in the center that you could stick something down in as well. I realized I was off camera, sorry. So you have a pen loop here and then you can also stick a pen here and then you could actually stick something in here as well. So it is stamped as being the original. And this book that it comes with, I was looking up when I ordered, is actually refillable. So this particular one is lined, but they have other styles, including some planner layouts. 
and it says that you can actually refill this, which I thought was kind of cool. It has a punch similar to a Happy Planner punch, and so it punches like a disc bound planner, and then the pages come in and out just like a disc bound. And so you could punch new pages on your own, or you could buy them from them in different formats, like a planner or grid, etc. And you could add them to this. And so if you are a person that kind of likes rings, but kind of likes disc bound, but doesn't want something that's too bulky, you could get one of their original folios and you could set up a little planner and then the planner slides in and fits nicely in this notebook cover. So I'm gonna close that. And so it fits like that. And so it's a really great option that kind of merges the ring planner system with the disc planner system. And I think it's super functional, but for right now, I am going to take this out because I bought this because I had to, <laughs> not really, I didn't really have to, but I bought it because I really wanted this hot pink cover and it didn't come in a size that would allow me to use Astology in it. So I decided I would get the A5 and I thought it would be perfect for so many different uses. You could art in it and I wouldn't worry as much if I got paint or anything on it because of the bright color. You could journal in here, you could plan in here. There's just a lot of different things that you could do. And so what I want to try is actually seeing if my work planner fits in here for a couple of reasons. One, I have been back in the office for over a month now, almost two months, and they're always doing deep cleans because of COVID-19. I really don't like my Sheet Sparrow E-Class being there, getting sprayed with things. So that is one of the reasons that I was thinking I would change out covers for the summer for this to give it a break and prevent it from getting sprayed with any of the Clorox 360 and other items that they're using to deep clean our offices. But also my beautiful Elderwood has gotten a lot of abuse since I have had her. I've used her, I've taken notes from um, laying pieces of paper on top of her. She's gotten scratched up from being carried. I dropped a pair of scissors on her. I dropped my stapler on her. I tossed her on top of a three ring binder that was open and the rings weren't closed and she got kind of scratched up and she needs some TLC. And so I thought if I can move this into here, I could use this for summer, which is awesome because it's bright hot pink. And then I could take some time to clean this leather and also to add some polish to her and fix some of her little beauty marks that she has gotten. And I could do it with you guys on a video. So that's my plan if this works. So I'm gonna slide out my planner. So this is my planner. I use a Hobonichi Day Free for my work planner. I have a video on my channel sharing that. And then I use a Stalogy Half Year for notes. The other stuff that's in here is a folder for papers and a notebook from Claire Fontaine that I use for my own personal notes and doodles. I don't use it for actual work stuff and so I don't really need that transferred over. It's more because it fits and the ease of having it all in one cover in case I'm bored at work in a training or I need a scrap piece of paper at my desk. But we are going to find out this is a five and this is a five. So you can see that they are the same size. The day free is slightly thinner because this has the little ring type mechanism in there. And so I'm going to slide this into the back. Ooh, so nice and it fits beautifully and then I was going to I need to unclip this binder clip that I have marking a page for a project I'm working on and then I could slip the Stalogy in the front 
And I can actually switch this. I could put the Stalogy in the back, which is where I normally keep it, and put the planner in the front. I'll have to decide which one I prefer. But I could slip that into this front slip pocket and then close it up. And it is like an awesome fit. It's so nice. It's fairly slim. It's actually lighter than my Elderwood is. It's super bright and girly and fun, which we need right now with everything that's been going on. I have pen loops inside, so I could actually put a pen in here. Let's see. I could put a pen inside and it would tuck on the outside of the notebook. Will it still close? And it closes with that pen stuck there and it's perfect. I'm super excited. So ultimately, I will probably use this for art or just for journaling. I don't really think that I will use this color all year round. It is really a fluorescent pink color, but I think it is fabulous for summer. And I think it is a great option for me to use for my planner during the summer, during COVID and all of that. And I think that it will be a nice break for my Elderwood, which I have been in since the day I got it and not moved out. And then we will do a video together next month, cleaning her up so you can see the process that I'm gonna go through to clean her and to kind of touch her up and beautify her so that you can see how that goes and what I do. And so it kind of is a win-win. We get to do some leather care together. I get to use something really bright and fun at work and it holds everything I need it to hold. So that is my unboxing for my new Filofax Original Folio in A5. They do have other colors, not all of the colors I don't think, but they do have a handful of colors. And I do think they also sell a different size of this. I believe it's the A4 size, which is basically letter size. So it would be about two of these. If you set two of these next to each other like this, that's how big the A4 would be. But this one is A5. And I do think that this is a really good option for someone that wants to use a dis disc type system that is easy to move things around and to adjust, but wants the beautiful leather and nice slim lightness options of a folio and also still be similar to a ring planner with the snap closure. So it kind of would give you everything in one. That is my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you share my channel with your family and friends if you think that they might be interested and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video because it does help my channel grow. And don't forget to just scribble.